Uh, fly ash is the waste product from the burning of coal to generate electricity. Uh, currently, we dispose of about 60% of it in landfills and only use about 40% of it for beneficial reuse. The use of fly ash in concrete is not unusual. We've been using it for about 70 years. One of the first structures was Hoover Dam, where they used fly ash in a very large application. Um, but the volumes that we're replacing the cement with is unusual. Typically, we only use about 35% replacement of the cement with fly ash. Here, we're using up to 70%. One of the problems is our crumbling infrastructure, and a lot of it is concrete. Uh, concrete is used 10 times more than any other construction material, so we're going to need to replace our roadways and our bridges and our pipelines, and if we can use this very green material, uh, we can bring our bridges and roadways up to the standard that we're normally expecting, and yet have a very green material that doesn't add very much to carbon dioxide emissions and uses a waste product. So. One of the problems is it takes longer to set. So what we're looking at is what additives can we put in the concrete so it sets faster, even with the high volumes of fly ash. Uh, what I'm doing right now is marking cracks on the beam as they appear. So as we apply more load to the beam, the cracks will grow. And so I mark uh, where the crack extends to and then at what load. Uh, basically, what we want to do is prove that the high volume fly ash concrete is as good as traditional concrete. Uh, to make sure the same design equations can be used, the same applications as you would in traditional concrete applications. One of the really neat things is we're actually using a recycled gypsum product from a company in Pennsylvania that takes gypsum wallboard from construction projects that are torn down and recycles the gypsum part of it and that's what we're adding to the concrete. So make it even more green uh, than it is. For every pound of cement that we manufacture, it generates about a pound of carbon dioxide. So cement is one of the leading producers of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas emissions. So by using the fly ash, we reduce that much more carbon dioxide in the air.